how to edit your verified Spotify account. We're gonna show you how to do all of that right now. I gotta put my hand up and admit it. Think I really might have blown it. So this video does go without saying that you already do have a Spotify verified profile. And if you don't have a Spotify verified profile, you can easily get one. We do have other videos. There's a link in the description below, or you can just Google Spotify verified profile and find that it's quite easy to get one. So let's go to Spotify and actually look what a Spotify profile looks like here on Spotify. This is me, Charles Klein. Um, we have monthly listeners, overview about concerts, and all our songs if we scroll below. So the things we want to know how to edit are like our main banner page, our avatar image, the about section, how do we add concerts, where is all this information kept? It's kept in your Spotify for artist profile in the back end. So because I have the native Spotify application, I can get to that verified profile in the back end through two ways. I can go to artist.spotify.com and log in through that way, or just in the native application here at Spotify, I can click on edit profile. Edit profile will open up artist.spotify.com anyways. And here I am in my profile, and this gives me the chance to edit all my information. There are little icons shaped like little pencils, and if I click these little pencils, I have the option to edit all the information. So. Clicking this little pencil gives me the option to edit my header image and my avatar image. Take a look here at what looks great on Spotify. Here's where they give you the file format information and specifically these dimensions. You're going to want to narrow down on those dimensions to have the perfect style. Let's go back here. We can add an artist pick section and I do recommend putting one here. I actually don't have one yet because it does expire after 14 days. So my 14 days just happened. We can go edit our about section. Clicking the little pencil here, we'll edit our image gallery. Take note of the dimensions again to make sure you have the best photo possible. We can go and edit the bio section. Make sure you have a captivating bio. That's another video I think for that. And also more info. We want to make sure we add as many links as, um, as possible. Obviously Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Wikipedia are the top links. I don't have a Wikipedia page. Maybe in a few years. Then we can go to concerts. Unfortunately, Spotify doesn't allow you to edit your concerts right on your Spotify profile page. You have to go to their partner, which is Songkick, and it's still very easy. You can go to songkick.com, sign up for a profile there, and then put your information to the concerts in Songkick, and then it will automatically be pulled by Spotify here. So I don't have any upcoming concerts, which is why I don't see any. If I go over to Songkick, and I go to my Songkick profile, where I can continue with Spotify. And I, if I add an event here, and I put uh, add a concert, and I put the information here, all I have to do is fill out this information, click save concert, and then I'm done. And then all that information will be pulled to Spotify. The last thing we can edit on this page, if we scroll to the bottom, we can edit our artist's playlist. So we can click this pencil, and we can choose a playlist that we've made on our own personal account, and we can pull that in here. And so I do recommend if you're an artist to have a couple playlists to make your profile more attractive. We can't edit the songs here. And if you want to edit your songs, you have to go to your distributor. If you want to take down a song, um, if you're on DistroKid or TuneCore, for example, you'll have to request a takedown from the distributor and usually takes between you know three days, sometimes one day, but usually takes up to five days for the song to be taken down. That's how to edit a Spotify profile. If you're interested to hear what I sound like as a singer songwriter, please do check me out on Spotify. Also stick around. I do make a lot of videos on personal growth, music and entrepreneurship. So feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.